Okay, if you are Redmi Note 10 Pro or Redmi Note 10 Pro Max user, then this is the best ever custom ROM. You should definitely try out on a device. Which is the custom ROM we are talking about here? Pixel Plus UI V3.9 official version based on Android version 11. It's a latest September security patch build and this is the best ever builds I have ever tried on a Redmi Note 10 Pro. You should also give it a try if you want to. Which other things you get here? I am going to talk about all these things in this video. So, let's get started. Okay, this is pixel plus ui default ui or basically this is the default thing which we have right now we applied a custom wallpaper by the way the ui looks quite good it's a pixel plus ui so yes all the pixel features are already present here for you for example it's pixel plus ui so yes you get the pixel launcher pre-installed looks good enough pixel launcher has all these features if you want to customize the launcher of course you can use some magisk modules for that and magisk modules a lot of videos are already available on my channel launcher launcher shady launcher good alternative good alternatives available for you in terms of quick settings panel it has the android 12 tint you can enable that option in settings this is a very good feature which you get in pixel plus ui comes with the gaming mode dark theme all the useful features available for you in quick settings panel and if you even want to use the screen recording the option is present here for you doesn't come with the advanced screen recording options unfortunately but you can simply use it in the terms of safeness status as this device is my primary device i am using it on my device safeness status does not have any kind of issues the best thing is safeness status passes out of the box if you don't want to root your device if you don't want to install magisk on your device then still it not be an issue you can simply use magisk and you can pass the safeness status by just hiding it from the settings if you use if you don't use it then don't need to but if you are using it then you need to hide the safeness status hide the magisk to pass the safeness status i'm also using some magisk modules here the default these default fonts are also changed is lit circular a the default fonts which i'm using right now i'm also using anx camera which is a very good miui camera port and yes if you want to use the anx camera you can i'm using the anx camera latest version here and i didn't got any kind of major issues here video mode portrait mode everything else is just working good this is something really interesting i as i previously mentioned i'm using this device as my primary device so i need camera and if it is working fine here then i think so you will definitely love it also in my redmi note 10 pro it has a 64 megapixel and the best thing is if 64 megapixel does not have any kind of issues it's working without having any issues everything else is good if you're using sweet global device which means redmi note 10 pro global variant or if if you are using redmi note 10 pro indian variant does not have any kind of issues you can see 25 mb of size of the 64 megapixel it's just great yes you will definitely love this also in the terms of l1 related certification as if your device supports l1 certificate if you want to stream netflix netflix and amazon prime video in hd then what is the status of l1 certificate l1 is there that's a very good thing that if you want to stream netflix or amazon prime in hd it's there l1 certificate is there you can use it on your device in the terms of customizations and features i made a dedicated specific video on pixel plus ui features where you get this new android 12 style bouncy effects by default in settings in this version it's only available in this version by the way you can see hello tech and something like that looks good enough network and internet connected devices has all the most same features like other AOSP based custom roams but i saw the battery backup is good enough i was getting approximately of nine hours of screen on time which is actually not bad by the way that's without gaming and with gaming you might get more than eight hours so which is good enough i always use more than 80 percent of brightness including i'm also using the light mode so yes depends upon if you're using light mode or if you're using dark mode depends upon that a lot of things depends upon that other things are quite same here display sound etc display has some features available for you in pixel plus ui you get some theming option in pixel in this display settings clock style etc you can customize the fonts you can customize some status bar icons features are good enough and in your daily life i think so you will love these features it does not include any kind of useless features by the way it includes all the useful features like fingerprint face unlock app locker you can you you can see i am using the app locker it's just working perfectly fine does not include any kind of of major issues it's just great this is why i just want to let you know and uh, this is the version i just wanted to show you this is the best of a custom room. in my opinion if you want to install it you can everything else i've already shown you i'm going to share with you my recommendations or my ratings about this custom room so yes in my opinion i'll rate it 10 out of 10 yes you will definitely love this thanks for watching goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 